Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to bring back the missing wipe data factor reset option on Samsung Galaxy A12. If a device is enrolled in an MDM solution, the administrator may be able to disable the wipe data factor reset option to prevent users from erasing the device without permission. This is common for enterprise-owned devices. And by following these simple steps, you'll be able to use your device fully without restrictions. So let's get started. When I enter settings on this Samsung device, then I go to general management. When I click on reset, the factory data reset option is grayed out. So that means we can't factory data reset our device. So our device wipe data factory reset option is disabled. And we have to find a way to reset our device. So go ahead to the build number and tap seven times on the build number. Then go to developer options. Then scroll until you find USB debugging and make sure you have turned on USB debugging. And it's allowed. The, the authorization is accessible. If you have connected your phone via USB debugging, that means we can use ADB to bring back the missing wipe data factor reset option. And so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to copy this command. Just a moment, we're going to copy this command. On this method, it depends whether you just want to factory data reset your device or you want the missing wipe data choice to be recovered. So in this case, if you don't want to bring back the web data factory reset option, I mean, you just want the wipe data to be seen so that you can erase your device and access the welcome screen and maybe the test mode. So, and what you're going to do is you're going to hit enter on this magic box and then go ahead to this application and you're going to search for KG and the application will appear. And what you're going to do is you're going to select the function you're going to do. For instance, I'm going to select disable. And I'm going to click on disable. And you can restore the uninstalled or disabled APKs or packages. They can be restored if something goes wrong you'll go to uninstalled section or disabled section and you can find the restore and the application will be reinstalled if anything goes wrong so for instance here it says success that means we have already uninstalled the package so in this method i just wanted the wipe data factor reset option to appear on the device. And once the phone finishes booting up, you get a screen with no wallpaper with no navigation bar 
and no status bar. What you're going to do is go into settings and confirm whether the wipe data choice is back on our device, whether it's grayed out or we can reset our device. So when I click on general management, you'll be able to click on reset. And then say click on reset. Factory data reset is not grayed out and we can reset our device. Our device is going to go. Whether you uninstalled the device services alone, that means you'll get your phone will be locked saying this phone can't be used without authorization or maybe device services have been uninstalled without authorization so to avoid that mess you can go with the two if you want the web data choice so that you can reach the welcome screen and reach the test mode you can disable the kg alone and go to recovery and the wipe data factor reset option will be there it will be recovered once i boot into recovery mode and once we're going to scroll down to see whether the wipe data choice is back on our device Another option, if you are unable to do this, you can unlock the bootloader. Unlocking the bootloader will factory data reset your device. And once you click on Web Data Factory Reset, it's back on our device. And so, subscribe for more tutorials. My name is Arnold, and I wish you the very best. Please like the video, subscribe, share, comment.